Good morning, hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit subscribe. Today's video is going to be a vlog. I have most of the day off. Even though I say off, I am still teaching dance classes, which is kind of a passion of mine anyway, so I don't really consider it work anymore. Um, so yeah, I have the morning off at least until 11.30. So I think I'm going to do a quick ballet class. I'm just gonna do some admin work and maybe watch a show while I relax and then I'm going to do a quick ballet class. going to do a face mask today. Um, I have a few hours until my first class, so I think, hey, sorry, my cat is trying to knock down the camera, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna do some skincare and I'm gonna do a face mask today because I have a few hours until my first class and I'm definitely going to do a ballet class as well. I actually moved my morning class to the afternoon so I had time to run some errands beforehand. This top that I am wearing right now, I have in my previous vlog when I went shopping with you guys. Um, I got it from Winners, it was only like $14.99 and I love it because it's one of those tops that's high neck and you don't have to wear a bra on me because it's just that supportive. Also, she really wants to knock the camera off. Don't know why. <laughs> also, our bathroom situation right now. So upstairs, I mentioned in my last vlog that we are completely renovating our upstairs bathroom and Steve's still gone this week. So obviously that has not had any progress. So I'm still using the downstairs bathroom, which you'll notice is green. We are changing that soon. Don't know when, actually not soon. I shouldn't say soon because we're taking it one step at a time with our reno. Um, so yeah, I've been having to use the bathroom downstairs, which is great because it's spacious and I'm not complaining, um, but I'm definitely very excited to be able <laughs> to paint these walls in a white color. Um, we also don't have electricity in this room because I guess Steve had to take it off when he was doing some renovation stuff on this wall, I guess, I don't really know, but there's no electricity, therefore um, you guys are right beside the window because there's no light in this room. So yeah, I'm going to quickly wash my face, foaming cleanser on my face. I've debated getting my nails done as well in the summer because I'm teaching a lot less. Um, and I find when I have nails and I'm teaching, it's kind of chaotic and I feel bad if I like, I don't know, if I'm spotting somebody and then it, my nail pricks them, you know what I mean? Um, and I do teach acro as well, so <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Um, so I've debated doing my nails because I like having nails and I think they look really nice, but I'm also very lazy. <laughs> and I don't know if I have time until, whoa, later on in the summer just with my new job and everything, but tomorrow is actually the dance studio's recital. So after that, dance season is officially done, which is crazy. I feel like this year went by so quickly. Oh my goodness. Um, it's kind of sad. I'm actually really sad. I'm going to be using this coffee, this intense awakening mask from the body shop. And I got this during my advent calendar from Christmas that my mom gifted me. It was from the body shop and this came in it. Oh my gosh. It looks like chocolate. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for a while and I think I'm gonna read my book while I leave this on for a little bit. I haven't done a face mask in a hot minute. It's been a while. I felt like doing a little bit of self-care today. I should've put my headband on because my hairs are gonna get all in it. I love how this smells. <laughs> it smells like chocolate that has coffee in it. And it says to leave this on for five minutes, so, or five to 10 minutes. So I will probably leave it on for 10 minutes so I have a little bit more time to read my book. I love using these wipes to pat dry my face after doing a mask. I feel like it gets a lot more off. Clean towelettes, right? 
you can't be that. For skincare, uh, it's really important to keep your towels clean or use this kind of thing. And what I love about these towelettes is they're 100% biodegradable and made of organic ingredients. I actually did a collaboration with Slow Brew Botanicals and this is not sponsored, but this is just the product I have left over from them. I should have done their clay mask this morning, but I wanted to try this um, coffee one. I just felt like I need more coffee in general. <laughs> you can also use the opposite side um, to apply toner, which I'm going to do. I'm actually nearly out of toner, but I'm going to use what's left of this Lancome toner. <laughs> it's pretty much bare, so I'm just gonna take the whole cap off and then just I think tomorrow before I go to work, since I'll be near my parents and they live near the mall, I will go to the mall and stock up on some stuff that I'm missing. And I haven't been to the mall in forever. Also, this is not working. So I will abort this mission because this is just not going to work. Some retinol. I used it a little bit in the beginning of the year and I noticed it started making my skin peel and I got like dry spots. So I stopped using it. So I'm just using it like three times a week now. I'm not using it that much. I already have pretty dry skin. So it was very dry. I had like dry spots. I had a weird dry spot on my eye, which in one of my old vlogs you can actually see. And that's the thing too. When I started this YouTube channel, I was so so nervous at first about the perception of me and how people would see me and you know if I wasn't perfect that day like my hair was messy or my skin wasn't perfect like right now I've got spots I literally don't care um because I'd rather put the stuff out there and connect with you guys than miss the opportunity to do so because you never know if you want to put yourself out there absolutely go for it you have nothing to lose and that's the mentality I should have started with because I could have started this journey a lot earlier and been a lot further in my journey nonetheless I'm happy where I am now it's so much fun to create content to edit content to curate content it's so much fun um I wish this could be my full-time job however I do not get paid enough for that it's cool that some people can make it their full-time job that would be my aspiration my goal <laughs> I love creating content so much. I think it's the creative side in me since I stopped professionally dancing. Like I still dance and most of my content is dance related. So I don't feel like I'm that far off in what I used to do, even though it's completely different. Like I used to dance on stage and I used to do rehearsals and classes every day. Now I'm still doing classes and I'm teaching, but I feel like I'm still, I don't want to say performing because it's not performing. Like this is just transparently my life, but I'm still in some way, I don't know how to explain it. I know a lot of people who would do a better job of explaining it. You're putting yourself out there, right? When you're in social media and when you're on stage as a performer and a dancer, you're putting yourself out there in front of thousands. I think that's why social media doesn't seem so daunting to me. When I gained 50,000 followers, my friend was like, oh my gosh, your growth is insane. And I was like, I guess I'm used to like being on stage. And that's much scarier in my opinion, being on stage than having like, and maybe on stage I had like 400 people watching me sometimes. Sometimes I had thousands. Um, that wasn't that scary to me. Um, you know, so social media really isn't scary anymore. It used to be, it used to get very psyched out. And I didn't get psyched out because of you guys, I would get psyched out. What would my friends think? You know, would they, like I'm cringy. Would they stop being my friends? And then I let go of that mentality because true ones won't quit. You know, I haven't lost any friendships. So <laughs> I also haven't made any new friendships because I moved recently and it's hard to make friends when you move. Um, and that's a story for another time. Let me know in the comments down below your experiences with this and if that makes any sense, if that resonates with you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much my skincare. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit um, because it's still tacky, moist. I know everybody hates that word, but that's the only word I can use to explain what I'm feeling about my face. Anyways, I'm going to brush my teeth and then I think I'm going to open my advent calendar for my mom. I need to make some Amazon orders because the baking tray that we have keeps cracking. Like, you know when it pops in the oven because they're really cheap quality? I think I got them from the dollar store a few years ago and it's definitely time to replace them. They're also like very dirty. You know, when you try to wash them, sometimes it's just impossible. Like the grease gets stuck on them and they're just like blackened and sharp. Yeah, I need to get rid of them. I don't think it's healthy and safe. <laughs> I'm going to buy some new ones on Amazon, some better quality because we actually have a gift card from Amazon from our family members and one of my old students um, from Christmas, which we haven't used. I mean, it's June and we hadn't used it, but we didn't know what to use it for. So yeah, I'm going to go do that. I think I'm going to do my makeup very quickly first now. So I actually have to film a TikTok for a client, um, which is very exciting. So I, very unheard of, I'm wearing tights underneath the leotard. I'm gonna do a very quick class. I don't wanna to get too sweaty, so I'm not gonna do a lot of it. To film this TikTok, which I'll share with you guys if it goes through and if it's okay. Um, but I'm also gonna do something with my hair because I don't know, I feel like doing a bun would be nice, but I think in this TikTok, I need my hair to be more freeing. So yeah, I'm going to warm up, do a little bit of ballet class, and I'm gonna wear my tutu for the dance too. Um, but right now I'm just gonna put on a pair of these trash bag. <laughs> 
shorts. And then I am going to warm up and slash do a bar in point shoes because I'm gonna wear point shoes for this TikTok and I just wanna be ready. So yeah, this is the outfit, I guess. And I don't know what to do with my hair yet. I think I'll just brush it out. I'm going to have lunch right now. It's almost 3.15. I have to leave the house around 3.45 to make it to work on time. It's actually my last class with these students. Um, I'm really sad, I'm gonna cry, but I'm gonna try not to cry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have lunch and then probably head out. I just taught three classes and I'm gonna do some admin stuff on my computer while I have lunch, maybe watch a show really quick because um, I have about 30 minutes. And it took me a lot longer to film that TikTok, hence the reason I'm still in my outfit. I'm gonna shower really quick if I have time. I don't know if I have time, but I'll just shower at night when I get home. I'm also gonna be staying at my parents tomorrow, I think, or tonight.
So today is the recital day, the very last recital for me this year out of my studios that I teach at. And this is what I'm gonna be wearing today. Um, I just need to pull this out a little bit more, but it's this dress that I got in one of my last vlogs from Winners and it was only $14.99. And then I'm gonna wear a pair of heels, but I forgot heels at home. So I'm gonna go to the mall and see if there's anything that I can find there. I also have to pick up some skincare because I'm out. I'm luckily at my mom's, she has a lot. So I used some of the Olay moisturizer. I did a little bit of makeup this morning. I obviously had a shower. Hour, hence the reason my hair is wet. I'm gonna let it air dry because I think I'm gonna curl it before the performance tonight. And I forgot my jewelry as well, but I still have my Majuri earrings. Um, I did forget my rings and I have a necklace in my bag. So I'll definitely put that on before I leave tonight. Um, I do have to leave the house around 3.30 and it's almost noon now. So I'm pretty much ready. Um, I just have a few errands to run. I'm definitely gonna pick up lunch because um, yeah, I'm staying at my mom. So I'll get us some lunch from Freshy and hopefully find some shoes, definitely find some skincare at Sephora and catch you guys in a bit. Do you like the smell of my shoes? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. In the last vlog, which I had a recital in, I wore the purple dress and I brought that one because I really like the way it looks. This one, I just wish the sleeves were a bit longer, but it's really hot today. Probably a good choice that I wore this one. And I think the black just is a little bit more classy, even though the other one's very classy, I just feel like it goes with everything. So no matter what shoes I get, it'll go. I just had lunch and I just got back from the mall and I'm at my parents' house and I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the mall. So first of all, I went to the mall because I wanted to find shoes for tonight and literally nobody had shoes, like nowhere had shoes when I went to H&M. They all had those jelly flats and those jelly shoes, which are cute, but not the vibe for tonight. I'm a dance teacher, so I need to look put together. Not that those don't look put together, but they're more casual, you know what I mean? So I want something dressier. Um, so I did get these shoes from Ardeen. <laughs> And they were only like $20, which in my opinion is kind of expensive for Ardeen, but whatever, they were like the less expensive versions of any of the shoes that I saw at any other store. And they look like this, and they have this cute little heel. I'm not a big wedge person, so I just got these and they have some foam on them. So they'll be somewhat comfortable. Um, I also got some books. The first one I got is actually in Gen an Agenda, and I love the color. It is my favorite color. Purple is my favorite color. To all my students who watch my videos, you guys probably know that because I love purple so much um but yeah it comes with oh my gosh i didn't realize it came with stickers at the back too which is really cute it doesn't start until august which is kind of sad because i wanted to start using it right away so i'll have to start it in august but it looks really nice on the inside and i love the feel on the outside as well i'm very much a texture person like i need to like the feeling of a book to read it and to use it this book by dolly parton and james patterson i've heard a lot of good things about it it actually has a picture of them on the back we are liars because this is supposed to be a really really good summer read so i got this one then lastly it's Sephora because I'm an addict at Sephora. I'm gonna try the Jonathan Van Ness hair stuff. Um, I love Jonathan Van Ness. I think everybody does. He's amazing. He's done amazing things and I can't believe he's come out with a hairline. Sounds weird. A hair care line. So I'm definitely gonna be trying it the next few weeks. And then I also got my favorite pharmacy um, green clean makeup remover. And this cleansing oil-based cleansing balm or makeup melt away cleansing balm is my favorite. I got the biggest size because I use it so much. I use it every day. I don't know how to use a proper curler. I always use a straightener to curl my hair and I go like this. I flip it around and then I straighten it downwards and outwards. And I've done this since I was like 13 or 14. And I'm turning 26 this year. So I've been doing it for however long that is. <laughs> And it turns out so nicely. Obviously I don't keep the curl like that. I usually go over it with like a brush or I straighten it again very lightly or I just like toss it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. This is what my hair looks like after curling it with the straightener, which I prefer anyways to the curler. I know curlers are probably a lot easier, but I kind of am speedy with it. It gives me so much volume and obviously like it's gonna go down a lot and my hair is really heavy because I have a lot of it and it's grown up so much. So I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing and deep puff a little bit and kind of brush it out with my fingers because if i brush it with a brush it's going to get way too fluffy even right now it's getting too fluffy so i'm going to use some water probably and maybe use some spray at the top or just put some of it back just so it gives a little more dimension um but that's what it looks like as well and yeah the only thing is that i always manage to curl one side a lot better than the other side like this side love it this side 
Actually, I like this side better. But anyways, 